The year-end process in Business Central is divided into three steps. First, we close the fiscal year. Next, we generate our year-end closing entries by using the close income statement batch job. And finally, we post the entries we generated together with the offsetting equity account entries. To close the fiscal year, we first go to the account periods page. And note that the new fiscal year field has been ticked here to designate the new fiscal year. Um, this will be relevant in just a moment, um, as when we run our process close year, Business Central automatically suggests the earliest available open fiscal year, which in this case is for my demo company that I have here, is the fiscal year from the 1st of January to the 31st of December for the year 2021. And we can see uh, just in the background here that the for the year 2020, the year has been closed. Now, we're asked to confirm if we'd like to close the fiscal year. When we're happy with what Business Central intends to do, we can hit yes. And it's, post, it's closed the periods. So once the job is done, you will notice that the, the dates are closed. They're marked as closed and the dates are locked. So the date locked field for the first period of the next fiscal year will also be locked. As you can see here, for the first of the first 2022, the date is locked. And this can no longer be cleared. The closed fields and the date locked fields for the previous periods are also marked and can no longer be cleared, regardless of whether we hit edit list. The period lengths for the closed periods also cannot be changed. It's important to note two other things as part of this process. First, it is not possible to reopen a closed fiscal year. You must have at least one open fiscal year. Therefore, when closing a year, ensure that the new fiscal year has already been created. And secondly, the though a fiscal year is closed, you can still post general ledger entries to it. When you do, the entries are shown as posted to a closed fiscal year and the prior year entry checkbox is selected. By default, that checkbox is not displayed on the page, so you'll need to personalize your page and add the field manually.